This episode of Into the Music is brought to you by Coda Music. It's a great way to discover new music and listen to all of your favorite artists for free. The link is in the description. In today's episode we're going to explore Gorillaz. Conceived as a first virtual hip-hop group, Gorillaz blended the musical talents of Dan the Automator Nakamura, Blair S. Damon Alburn, Chiba Mato S. Miho Itori, and Tom Tom Club S. Tina Weymouth and Chris France with the arresting visuals of Jamie Hewlett, best known as the creator of the cult comic Tank Girl. Nakamura S. Deltron 3030 Cohorts Kid Koala and Del the Funky Homo Sapien rounded out the creative team behind the Gorillaz Quartet, whose virtual members included 2D, the cute but spacey singer slash keyboardist, Murdoch, the spooky, possibly satanic bassist and the brains behind the group, Russell, a drummer equally inspired by Farrakhan and Shaka Khan and possessed by funky fandoms that occasionally rise up and provide some zombie style rapping, and last but not least, Noodle, a 10 year old Japanese guitar virtuoso and martial arts master. The group's website showcased Hewlett S visuals and the group's music in eye and ear catching detail. Gorillaz debuted in late 2000 with the Tomorrow Comes Today EP, which they followed early the next year with the popular Clint Eastwood single. A self-titled full-length debut album arrived in spring 2001. Gorillaz was a massive worldwide success and achieved platinum-level sales in the US, worldwide, it sold over 7 million copies. The group's Svengali's were quick to capitalize, and released the B-Sides collection G-Sides, the Phase 1, Celebrity Takedown DVD, and the dub-inspired remix album Like A Come Home in 2002. The project soon went on hiatus, however, as Alburn resumed work with Blur for their seventh album, 2003's Think Tank. When he was ready to begin the next Gorillaz album, Alburn turned to Danger Mouse the DJ behind the Grey album, the infamous mashup of the Beatles' White Album and Jay-Z's Black Album and a host of other collaborators, including De La Soul, Sean Ryder, Debbie Harry, Dennis Hopper, and Martina Topley Bird. Although Del the Funky Homo Sapien and Nakamura did not return, 2D, Russell, Murdoch, and Noodle were all present and accounted for on Demon Days, another top 10 hit, which arrived in spring 2005. The album went double platinum in America and enjoyed even more success in the U.K. It also received a host of Grammy nominations, a sign that the band had secured critical as well as commercial approval. Gorillaz broke ground for a new album in 2007, but the project wasn't released until 2010 when Plastic Beach marked the group's third studio effort. Greeted to generally positive reviews, Plastic Beach received more attention for its tour, as ex-Clash members Paul Simonon and Mick Jones were both part of Gorillaz. During that tour, Alburn recorded a new Gorillaz album called The Fall on His iPad. Initially digitally released to fan club members on Christmas Day 2010, the album saw a wide official release in the spring of 2011. Unlike previous efforts that featured a vast array of guest artists, the fall only featured four guest collaborations, three of whom Bobby Womack, Mick Jones, and Paul Simonon had appeared on Gorilla's tracks before. Aside from the best of compilation The Singles Collection 2001-2011, which was issued in November 2011, the following five years saw a period of inactivity in the Gorilla's camp, with rumors materializing about an apparent fallout between Alburn and Hewlett. However, these rumors were put to bed in early 2015 when Hewlett posted new illustrations of the virtual members online. Later that year, Alburn confirmed that a new record was indeed in the works. The following year passed and the first track to promote the record, the politically charged Hallelujah Money featuring English musician and poet Benjamin Clementine, dropped in January 2017. The full-length effort, entitled Humans, arrived that April. Alongside Clementine, it featured appearances from Vince Staples, Popcon, Danny Brown, Mavis Staples, Grace Jones, Jenny Beth Savages, and Alburn S one-time rival Noel Gallagher. Months later, Alburn released Humans B-Side Garage Palace with rapper Little Sims. To support Humans, the band embarked on a major world tour, their second ever and first since 2010, during which they also began recording another album. Featuring fewer collaborators than usual, Gorillaz issued their sixth LP, The Now Now, in June 2018, which debuted at number 5 on the UK Albums Chart and number 4 on the US Billboard 200. In early 2020, 
the band began issuing a series of singles and music videos as part of a conceptual project called Song Machine. 